Well, the story I'm going to tell today is a story you might think you know, but it's very different from the one you know. The story is called The Three Little Pigs and the Big Bad Wolf. However, this story is a little bit different from the one you thought you knew. So I'm going to tell it like this. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs and they lived in a house with their mother. The pigs were getting bigger and the house was not getting any bigger. So one day their mother said to the three little pigs, little pigs, little pigs, you're so big now, it's time for you to go and make your own homes. So the three little pigs left their home and decided to build their own houses. The first little pig built a house made of straw. The second little pig built a house made of sticks. And the third little pig built a house made of bricks. Now, as you probably know in this story, there is a big bad wolf knocking around. And every now and then, the big bad wolf would come knocking on the door trying to eat the little pigs. It frightened the little pigs terribly. In fact, it frightened the little pig who'd made a house of straw so much that he started to wish he wasn't a pig. The little pig who had a house made of straw started to wish he was a big bad wolf because then he would be frightened of nothing. In fact, he thought it might be quite fun to frighten the other pigs. So one day he was at home and he said, I wish I wasn't a little pig. I wish I was a big bad wolf. Well, it was his lucky day because suddenly a fairy appeared and said, is that what you want? I can give you one wish. Oh, said the pig. Yes, please make me into a big bad wolf. So the fairy waved her magic wand and the little pig became a big bad wolf. Now, the little pig thought that was wonderful and he thought it'd be great fun to go and frighten his brothers. So he went round to his brother's house made of sticks and he knocked on the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me in. But the little pig said, no way, I'm not going to let you in. I'm very frightened of you. You'll eat me. And he thought that was terribly funny and he laughed and he laughed. So the little pig, who was really now a big bad wolf, laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> Then he went to the next brother's house, the one made of bricks, and knocked on the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me in. But the one in the house made of bricks said, no, 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 I will not let you in by the hair of my chinny chin chin. You cannot come in. You will eat me. And he laughed. The little pig, who was really a wolf now, laughed his head off. He thought it was terribly fun to frighten his brothers. Anyway, all was going well, but after a while, the little pig who used to be quite friendly with his brothers and talking with them, found it was very lonely to be a wolf because he had no friends. Every time he tried to make friends with anybody, whether it be another pig or a chicken or a rabbit, they would run away from him as fast as they could. They would say, we're not coming near you, you're going to eat us. So he had no friends. So he went back, he thought he'd go and talk to his two brothers in their homes. So he went and knocked on the door of the brother who had um, a house made of sticks and said, brother, brother, I'm your brother, the pig, let me in. But his brother said, no, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. You look like a big bad wolf and you're going to eat me. You're not my brother. Yes, I am, he said, but his brother didn't believe him. Then he went to the house made of sticks, of, of stones, of bricks. And he said to his brother, 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 let me in. And the brother said, no, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I will not let you in. You're a big, a big bad wolf. You can eat me. No, he said, I'm not a big bad wolf. I'm really just another pig who's changed by magic into a big bad wolf. I don't believe you, said his brother. I will not let you in. The poor pig found that even his own brothers were frightened of him. Even if they believed him, which they did a little bit, that he'd been changed by magic into a big bad wolf, they still didn't want to open the door or talk to him because they were very frightened that he would eat them. So he became more and more lonely. The poor pig. 
he had no friends at all because now he looked like a big bad wolf. Everybody would run away from him when he went close to them. After a while, he started to regret his decision to be a big bad wolf. And he was sitting at home in his house of straw saying, I wish I hadn't been made into a big bad wolf. I wish I was a little piggy again because I could go and talk to my brothers and be friends with them. Just then, the magic fairy appeared again. And the magic fairy said, Is that your wish? Yes, he said. Well, the fairy said, I'm not sure it's a good idea, but up to you. You can have one wish. He said, yes, please. I wish I was a little piggy again. So the fairy waved her magic wand. She said, abracadabra. And in a flash, the big bad wolf was turned back into a little piggy where he started. Oh, he was so happy. Immediately, he ran out of his house to go and see his brothers. First, he knocked on the door of his brother, who was, lived in a house made of sticks, and said, brother, brother, I'm a pig again. Let me in. But when the brother heard his voice, the brother said, No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I will not let you in. You're a big bad wolf and you're going to eat me. No, he said, I'm a little piggy again. I don't believe you, said the brother. You're just playing a trick on me to get me to open the door so you can eat me. No, I promise, I'm really a little piggy. Please, please open the door, we can be friends again. And his brother said, Ha, 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 ha. You're just playing a trick. You just want to eat me. I'm not going to open the door. I'm not interested. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. You're a big bad wolf and you'll eat me if, you, if I let you in. Please let me in. I'm just a pig now. I don't believe you. It's just a trick you're playing on me, said his brother. So finally the little piggy gave up and went to see his brother in the house made of, of stones. <coughs> of our bricks, wasn't it? He knocked on the door. And he said, brother, it's me. I'm a little piggy again. I'm not a big bad wolf. Let me in. But the brother didn't look and said, no, you're just playing a trick on me. I will not let you in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. You cannot come in. You will eat me. No, he said, I promise. I used to be a big bad wolf, but now I'm a little piggy like you. I won't eat you. I can't eat you. I'm a pig. I don't believe you, said his brother. I don't want to talk to a big bad wolf. And I, because the big bad wolf will open his mouth to talk to me and eat me. No, really, I'm not a big bad wolf. I don't believe you, said the brother. Please, you must listen to me, begged the little pig. I really was a little pig who got changed into a big bad wolf. But now, and I know I frightened you, but now I've been changed back. I'm now just a little pig like I was before. I won't eat you. But the pig inside the house made of bricks didn't believe him. He said... You're just playing a trick on me. You're probably still a big bad wolf and you're going to eat me. I won't let you in. The poor little pig was very, very sad. And he cried and he cried because he still had no friends. And his, even his brothers, who ought to be his friends, wouldn't talk to him, wouldn't open the door to him, wouldn't even look at him to see that he was now a little pig. He was terribly sad. sad. Just then, the big bad wolf the real one came and knocked on his door and said little pig little pig let me in and the little pig said no 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 i will not let you in by the hair of my chinny chin chin you cannot come in this is the house made of of, of straw ah. so the big bad wolf said then i'll huff and i'll puff and i'll blow your house down and that's what he did. He huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The poor little piggy ran for his life and hid behind his brother's house, hid behind the house made of sticks. Because his brother wasn't going to let him in. The wolf couldn't find him, so the wolf thought he'd gone inside and knocked on the door. And the wolf said, little pigs, little pigs, let me in. But the little pig who was inside, the house made of sticks, said, no, 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 you cannot come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I will not let you in. So the wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And that's what he did. He huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. Now the two little pigs were frightened for their lives and they both ran to their brother's house. The one who lived in the house made of bricks. But while they're running, the second brother saw that his first brother was now a little pig and not a big bad wolf anymore. 
they, they, he could see that he wasn't a big bad wolf. The big, uh, they were, yeah, yeah, that's right. And they were, he was being chased by the big bad wolf because now they, the house was blown down, and they were running to the house made of, of bricks, and they could see each other for the first time. And when they got to the house made of bricks, they shouted to their brother, "Let us in! Let us in!" And the brother heard them both shouting, the one in the house made of bricks, and said. One of you is a big bad wolf. I can't let you in. No, no, we're both little pigs. But the brother didn't believe it. So they had to hide behind the house. And the big bad wolf arrived, thought they were inside the house and knocked on the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, he said. And the little pig inside the house said, No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I will not let you in. And the big bad wolf then said, Well, I'll, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So that's what he tried to do. He tried to huff, then he tried to puff, and he hide, He puffed and he huffed, and he puffed and he puffed, and he huffed and he huffed and he huffed and puffed and puffed and huffed, but he still could not blow down the house made of bricks. Just then, the two little pigs were hiding behind the house, saw the window was open, and they jumped in the window, and their brother saw that they, it was only a little pig and not a big bad wolf, and they slammed the window shut, and the big bad wolf fell asleep. So the three little pigs concocted a plan. And the plan was that they would ink, trick the wolf into coming down the chimney and they'd boil him in a pot of water, in a big cauldron of water on the fire under the chimney. And did they, and did they lock the door very tight locked? Exactly, they locked the door very tightly. Tight locked? And, yes. And, 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 and did they do, and they, and did they, did they work with a key? Mm-hmm. They locked it with a key. Hmm? Mm-hmm. It doesn't work like a key? They locked the door with a very strong key so the wolf couldn't get in. Why? Because wolves can't get in doors which are locked. Then the wolf woke up and one of the pigs looked out the window and said in a very loud voice, That wolf is very silly. He chased us from one house to another, and he never thought of coming down the chimney. That would be the way to eat us. What a silly wolf. Now the wolf heard that and immediately thought, little pigs, little pigs, I'm going to go on your roof and come down your chimney and I'll eat you. Immediately the three pigs put the huge cauldron of boiling water on the fire at the bottom of the chimney. The wolf climbed up onto the roof and jumped down the chimney, whoosh, and when he got to the bottom, he landed where? In the, in the pot. In the pot, in the cauldron of boiling water. And it went, made a big splash as he went in. And immediately the three little pigs took the lid and screwed it on tight. And that was the end of the big bad wolf. And the three little pigs were now friends again, like they had been before. The end. What did you think? Did you like the story? Yes.